What is good guys, we are back with more SPL and of course uh, Funkasaurus brings this team that we just saw this team in action earlier It's um, Subduggy with like Earthquake um, Toxic, Softbolt, Seismic Toss Stealth Rock Chansey, uh, Wolverus, Bulky, Ninetales and yeah, we have a weather war again. We had the same scenario earlier. Uh, Rain versus Sun. Oh, actually, no, the team is a bit different. He has Heatran over Volcarona. I just realized my bad. So he doesn't have Volcarona, but that's a nasty team nonetheless. If it's a bulky Heatran, I would even call this like semi stall or stall. Yeah, definitely. Let me, let me just check real quick if I'm in the correct game. Yeah, that's the only Gen 5 game going, go going on. There is mod chat set, which means it's uh, most likely for SPL. It, yeah, otherwise there wouldn't be mod chat. Okay, let me look at Alone's team. Um, earlier we have seen a scenario where it was uh, Scarf, Politoed, which uh, got worn down relatively fast. So let's see if this one is... Oh, it's probably not Scarf because the sun goes up first. Okay. Yeah, I'm expecting this definitely to be a bulky Willow Whisperer and again, and yeah, he, this is like some weird nickname. This is not Aristella, this is Funkasaurus uh, versus the Loden. This is uh, Cryos versus the Scooters, but I forgot who is on which team. We'll check that after the game. But uh, you should go to Chansey here, right? Uh, so Loden could double into something like Kelio. Well, Kelio is looking, Kelio looking pretty threatening in the rain. Whew, what do you have for Kelio, my man, in the rain? I mean, you have. A Cresselia, but if you're not Spidev, you're gonna get destroyed by Hydro Pump, and obviously Ninetales can change the weather back, but it cannot switch into Kelio. So Kelio looking like a huge threat if it's back, that is especially. Um, I'm expecting the Garchomp to be Scarf. It could also be Scarf Kelio, but I think Spex Kelio makes more sense. It has crazy breaking power in the rain. So Scarf Chomp makes sense and then like Life Orb Star me or something like that. Like, that's just my guess. I don't know about that much about Black White. And the Dragonite, some sort of DD variant, huh? Could also be Hurricane. I don't fucking know. <laughs> and uh, the Pharaoh is probably Rocks. And yeah, he just Scalds, which is odd. I think Dublin to Kelly would have been a better play, but he gets a burn, so it works out fine for him. Uh, now the, the Pharaoh Sun is really obvious here. So I would double into Heatran maybe, or into um, Ninetales. If I was Funk, or however you pronounce his name, it's like Funkasaurus is small, and he just gets rocks. Now, now his chance is like relatively low, because of the two turns of burn he had to take. That, that, that this team's so nasty, dude. <laughs> How could you bring that into? I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. It's like a tried uh, nasty fat team. Now, they exchange rocks. Uh, will always was relatively obvious here. Yeah, I think he's just gonna will always What is the switch in? If it's leftovers, then it's the Toad, yep. So this could be Rest Toad with... Uh, we've seen Scald, Rest, and then maybe Ice Beam and Encore. Something like that, right? So this time, Chansey doesn't want to come in because it would have to take Rocks, and Eloden could double here breaking the Chansey. And if he, like, doubles... On a chancy here into like Garchomp or Kelio. That would be bad for, for Funk. So what is he gonna what what covers all options here? Maybe Cresselia is, is a mid ground. Uh, I don't know. Maybe this this could potentially also have Toxic. I don't know if they run that. I'm just trying to guess the sets. So he does double into Kelly anticipating the chancy. As uh, so he has protect. Oh yeah, yeah, protect, okay. Protect Will O Wisp. Um, okay, so he has Will O Wisp and then he has protect to like stall some burn chip damage. Or that also is for choice lock mons and that also covers doubles. Now he can protect again to see what the Kelly locks itself into because I assume it's a uh, choice locked Kelly as he goes for pumps. So he has seven pumps left. Now he doesn't have a switch in. He just have to hope that he dodges. Otherwise the Kelly is gonna get a kill here. I'm pretty sure after rocks, Cresselia will get two K out from this. Uh, if it's specs, that is, it will get blown away. And even Chansey doesn't want to take this with rocks up and rain up. I'm not gonna run any cards, I would just assume if it's specs it will 2 it KO the Chansey in rain. I'm guessing it would do like 28 or 30 to the Chansey. Had Kalk, had Kalkarich. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know. I guess he's just gonna pray for a dodge. What is the most useless member that he can sack? Let me think. Um, I mean, the Dagi doesn't really do that much. But Dagi can have revenge this Kelly later on, so never mind. I don't think he wants to sack that. Kelly is a huge threat and he wants to get chip on it. He goes Chansey, which I don't think that's. Oh, he dodges. Well, that obviously was the play then if you dodge. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's just, I just don't want to miss any turns life, so we're not going to run any calcs. Actually, we are going to run a calc. Let's do that real quick. Black, white, all you. Chansey versus uh, Kelio. Let's assume there's a choice specs. Hydro pump in the rain. Would have done 39 to 46. Holy. That is so much. Obviously, he was forced to switch out now because he couldn't kill uh, after he missed. So, Faro can go for like Leech Sheet or Knock Off here. I don't know what they're running, Black, white, but. Doubles out in the Stami. Oof. Oof. But the thing is, in the sun, um, so now that's gonna protect it, you get some more leftovers back. Oh, yeah, the reason also why you want to pro uh, protect, obviously, is so you can cancel out the rock damage that you take with leftovers. As he goes in the toad, um, but he's to protect and to get his weather back up. Now, if he has rest, he could maybe go for that to keep this healthy because he's getting chipped by the burn. Or I could also fire out. Now, the chance is back at full. Chance is back at full. Let me think. Um, yeah, double into Keldio again, maybe. Oh, the, the protect felt, the protect felt. So he's gonna protect again here. Because he wants, obviously, more leftovers on his nine tails, right? He doesn't. Did I miss something? He could have protected again there. Oh, I guess I guess this way he knows that the Politoed is gonna stay in this turn because the protect would have been obvious. So I understand the play in that sense. Uh, I still would have taken my free leftovers. But I do understand why he made the play. Okay. Double spec into nine tails. The weather war is going on, but the thing is, the nine tails is weak to rock, so it's getting chipped. Even though the toad is burned, the uh, is burned, the nine is getting chipped a little bit more than the toad. And the toad, especially if the toad has rest, the toad can come out here again and then go for rest. Um, I assume he would not want to go hard into Keldia because Keldia literally does a lot of work in rain, especially if if it can hit its moves. That is its moves. Um, if Scald would have tweaked out the Chansey, maybe Scald would have been the better play, but I assume he went for Hydro Pump earlier because Hydro Pump would have probably tweaked out the Cresselia and Scald might have failed to it KO in the Crest, so I do understand why he went for Hydro Pump. It just pretty much got a kill if it would have connected, but of course, you, you know how Pokemon works. Uh, it's not always how we want to. We cannot always hit our moves. <laughs> So he does double into... Oh, that was a hard-ass play. They did not even consider that. Now, um, if it's Defensive Toad, I don't know if Earthquake is a roll. But I assume this Earthquake is just going to kill. Uh, he does not kill. Wait. I mean, he wins the Weather Wall right here. So this might have been worth it. This might have been worth it because um, he just won the Weather War. Because whenever Ninetales comes out... This means Kelio is now not going to destroy him anymore. So first he dodges a pump and now... Kelly is not going to be able to do that much more work whenever the sun comes back. He might just... I think Elodon might go guard trump here. Like, Elodon wants to go to something here that pressures the nine tails out. Because the nine tails is most likely going to come out here. So he could either go... If he has sub on Dragonite, he could go to that. Uh, if Dragonite outspeeds nine tails, that is. I assume it would outspeed defensive nine tails. Don't quote me on that, though. Um, or he would could go to, like... Yeah, he could go to pretty much everything besides Ferrothorn. He doesn't want to go Ferrothorn here. Um, this Garchomp has SD or sub. That's a potential play here as well. Just so, just to something that doesn't, yeah, something that doesn't let the Ninetales. So that makes it so the Ninetales doesn't want to go for protect because it has to fear the potential SD or sub. Even though this is most likely Scarf Chomp, um, as I guessed earlier, right? Yeah, yeah, it should it should be Scarf. His team is relatively slow. So, I don't know if I would, yeah, exactly, I was gonna say, I don't know if I would protect just in case this is not Scarf. Just in case this is a SD or sub variant. Okay, so it's leftovers. Wow, it's leftovers, that's weird. Okay, so it goes in the Stami here, this could be, um, as HP Fire comes out, HP Fire, yeah, we've seen that earlier in another game, it's used in Sun, obviously, on Cresselia for stuff like Ferrothorn. Uh, I was gonna say this might be a bulky Stami with, um, Maybe toxic, but it doesn't have life up and doesn't have leftover, so I'm not sure about the Stami set. If it's oh, this might the Stami might be the scarf, but that sounds so bad. Scarf Stami, stuff, scarf Stami sounds so weird. Uh, there's a chance it's that because I don't see what else would be the scarf. I think there's absolutely nothing through multi scale. So if this Dragonite had roost has roost, it can just roost off the damage here. 
He can also live another. He can. Oh, it's probably Bandit. Oon gets a crit. I think that was Bandit. Um, I think he deserves that crit because <laughs> he puts a happy. F <laughs> Man, put a happy face. <laughs> no, no, no. I think he deserves that crit for uh, for missing the hydro pump earlier. And because his opponent has a fat and nasty team, just for the viewer to make it more entertaining, he deserves that crit. And this definitely makes it more fun to watch. Uh, obviously, Ice Beam would not have killed. It would have done like 62, or maybe 65 if he got a higher roll, but it would not have killed. And Outwitch would have um, probably, obviously, easily to it KO'd. As now, he misses a whiz. So this is fast. Oh, ooh, this is faster. So Adam Dragonite is probably adamant then. Okay, earlier I said that Dragonite might, if it's sub, he should go to that on a nine tails, but I take that back then. Okay, so he misses a will o' wisp, which sucks a lot. Um, because crippling Dragonite would have been really cool for him. But I think he was pretty weak to kill you anyway. Because Secret Sword, um, after losing the Cresselia, he's really he was super weak to Secret Sword any, uh, anyway. So the Kelly doesn't even need rain anymore to destroy him. Could just spam the fighting move. How does Jumper beat Chris? What? <laughs> um, he's just gonna go for like spin here, right? Uh, Jaro, okay, that did nothing. Now, Elodon is gonna switch out into his Keldia or Ferrothorn or Garchomp. Huh. Actually, I think Keldia. Okay, Ferro. I was gonna say maybe he don't doesn't want to go into Ferro because Ferro loses to the. Um, they invite the Heatran in, but it doesn't matter because he has more sacks. He's pretty much up in the game um, after this reverse hacks that he got. So he can just get his rocks up here again. Oh, Leech Seed, okay. Now, I think Garchomp is the play here, right? Like, the reason why Starmie is nice to have is because Iron Bob's um, on Rapid Spin always chips down the Fortress. Leech Seed always annoys um, Funk's entire team. And this also can get up rocks again later when he gets rid of the Fortress and just annoy him a lot. So, I don't think he has to sack this just yet. I don't think Keytron Willow Wisp is that common. So, I think Chomp might be a fine play here. Unless these run HP Ice, I don't think they do. Um, I don't even see what Double Funk can make. He does go Dragonite, okay. Okay, ooh, Magma Storm in the, in the Sun does a fuck ton. But Garchomp would have been able to eat that. Dragonite, ooh, okay, lifts it because of the Leech Sheet. Now, this is, might have Earthquake, Outrage, E-Speed, and... Does it... Uh, was E-Speed out in Gen 5? Pretty sure it was. Let me, let me data that real quick. I already gave the wrong information saying that the Dragonite... Like, okay, it's not a wrong formation, I just don't know everything. Okay, e speed is from Gen 2, just making sure. So the last move is probably like... Oh, it's slower, so it's fast run. Okay, okay. it's fast run with leftovers. Yeah, obviously, the Dragon Knight is uh, adamant, right? That's what you went on Bandit for breaking power. But I'm still surprised that he didn't go Garchomp, even though the sun is up. He had the lead sheet on this, and the Garchomp was at full. So I thought that would have been a better play, but I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters, yeah. So you can just click off quick here, and I think the fortress would get two hit KO'd by that. And Chansey might actually be able to take two off quicks. But the thing is, if this Garchomp has uh, sub, if the Garchomp has sub and outspeeds the trend, that's also fine play here. And then you can SD up next turn. But yeah, he's just gonna off quick. That yeah, obviously two hit KO's the fortress. I thought if anything, maybe the Chansey could take two, but fortress obviously cannot take two. So he's just gonna off quick again here. And I think he has to. Yeah, this game is over. <laughs> that was a weird game to say the least. Oh. But definitely um, was a cool one. He goes for SD. I don't think that was necessary. But the reason why he went for SD is because so when the Chansey comes in afterwards, it makes sense, yeah. When the Chansey comes in afterwards, he wants to um, power through the Chansey. So yeah, um, this was actually quite fast. Yeah, I have to say I kind of enjoyed that game. Like the hex sucks for the player, but it was kind of entertaining for the viewer. Um, obviously, the harder pump miss was really annoying because, like, as a viewer, I automatically kind of root for the guy with the more offensive team because this nasty bulky team is just oof. You don't want to see this. But yeah, um, let me just check real quick which team Loden was on. So Funk was on the Cryos, and the Loden was on the Scooters. So the scooters win this, right? Yeah, yeah. Loden wins this for the scooters. Makes the score three and two now. Um, highly anticipated only match tomorrow between Poeg and Flynn, Victini and Snowers. Oblivion is also cool. 
Um, I actually think Oblivion is quite underrated. Um, he just he hasn't been super consistent, but I think he can perform well for sure. Um, yeah, I, as always, especially for those for these lower tiers, if you guys um, notice any mistakes that I make, just drop a comment. And yeah, because I will make mistakes, especially with black white narrations, a tier that I don't play myself. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. And yeah, smash that like button. I'm putting in uh, a lot of work here for you and. We will be back with more games. Pretty much, there's going to be so many games tomorrow. I think it's it's already 2 a.m. now, and there's still le games left tonight. And it's lower tier games. I'm gonna like probably record them and send them to my man Ultra Balls because he's the lower tier X, lower the, the lower tier. He is helping me out with the lower tiers, so that's gonna be fire. But I just don't know when I'm gonna sleep, and there's more games tomorrow. So if I don't sleep, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to tomorrow. Uh, if I'm gonna be able to narrate tomorrow, I'm gonna have to see how I'm gonna do that. Because when I'm tired and narrate, um, I will. The chances are higher that I mess up in my narration, so I would like to avoid that. But I have to deal with that. That's not you guys' problem. I hope you guys enjoyed, and goodbye. But yeah, this was like super enjoyable. Like, what the fuck? I didn't think I didn't think black and white would be this fun to watch. Like, what? And also, this music is fire. Um, link to the music is in the description. And goodbye.